welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan welcome back to exploring the world of azeroth in world of warcraft today's adventure leads us to the battle for azeroth expansion where we are in the crucible of storms the raid that is known for its i don't know pretty cool lore i guess you could say um i think it's a very forgotten raid a lot of people don't i don't talk about this raid much and there wasn't too much to see in this raid uh it was a cool raid i'll have to admit but uh anyways i just want to say thank you guys before we begin this video we're about to hit 5,000 subscribers that is amazing to me so uh yeah but uh yeah i just want to say thank you and uh, let's get to the video now where I'm currently at on the map is right in this location right here. All right. Um, now, when you come through the entrance, you just make your way. You smile to the water over here and uh, you see the bosses here in the middle. Now, one thing that's really cool about this raid is that, um, well, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So that's not cool. <laughs> but one thing that's really cool is there's always a way out of things. I mean, there, Blizzard messes up along the lines. Now, as you come in the water down here, I have already made myself small with the Nogger, Nogger Fogger Elixir and a Nogger Fogger Elixir. And uh, there's a corner over here where we're actually going to switch to the Vengeance class. So we're going to switch our hero talents. And there's a corner right over here, as you can tell, that's kind of under the map here. Well, all you need to do is once you get under the water, there's a place right under here where you can actually... You should be able to um, get right over here. And you should be able to jump in here. I don't remember exactly where it was. But there is a place here where you can get in. Uh, and I'm trying to remember now. And it, you know, I was just outside of the map, which is really sad. <laughs> Maybe I should have practiced this a little more. There is a spot around here where you can jump out. And I, mean, I don't know. Maybe you need to be in a certain angle. As you tell, what you once you jump under here, you can actually get in. And uh, there is. Come on, game. Where you at? Should be right over here. Man, this is sad now. Not right there. There we go. All right, first try. <laughs> so it's in this little gap right here. Now, once you get up here, you can jump straight out. And there you go. You're out of Crucible Storm. So it does take a minute, as you saw. I'm not perfect with these OOBs. But what's really neat is now we can go explore the map. So let's go uh, take a look around. Uh, we are going to switch to Havoc just to be safe. Because I like having uh, Fel Rush when we're outside of these maps. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out this way. And you can see we are officially outside of the map. So you can see the boss is right over there. And uh, we're going to go take a look around. Now, what's really cool here about this place is that, uh, do be careful, there's a lot of caverns you can fall in. Like, if you fall down there, you'll just fall and get stuck. So just be weary that you can get stuck in here. Uh, and it's not fun. <laughs> so uh, just be careful. Now, we're going to start making our way up this way. And we're going to head along the rocks here. Now... Be careful going up here because you can get clipped back into bounds um, very easily. So just make your way along the edge. And um, there we go. Ooh, I keep forgetting we're tiny, so we're going to unminiature ourselves here, I guess you could say. And what we're going to do is we're also going to go back to normal form here. We're going to hide our HUD again. And we're going to keep on walking. So we're just going to make our way out this way. And we're going to go along the edge of the rocks here. Because we want to stay outside of bounds. Because normally, you're never supposed to get outside of here anyways. 
But this is actually a really fun OOB, I will tell you guys. There's a lot of cool things to see out here. Um, I mean, well, cool as in seeing the map from a different perspective. There's not too much out here. <laughs> I will be honest with you guys. But there is uh, a cool thing to see with the map of, like, seeing it. Now, we do try to avoid water, right, in OOBs. Don't worry about water in this OOB. Um, you can freely swim everywhere you want. I've already tested it out. Because normally with OOBs, if you try to swim in water, um, if you don't have like a swimming animation, for instance, it will just DC you and you have to go in this endless loop of DC and just pray to God that you can jump out of the DC unless you get yourself unstuck with Blizzard support and then it's terrible. So don't, um, <laughs> don't try to, don't worry about uh, swimming around. So as you come outside the map, one of the cool things here, like I said, you can swim. So all this water is swimmable. And you can see that a lot of this is just smoke and mirrors outside the map. These are things you're never supposed to see anyways. Now, there is a weird-looking creature outside of here. Look at that thing. What is that? I have actually never seen that before in my life. Let's go take a look. That is creepy. Oh, you know what that is? That is one of the um, tentacles... Huh, that's just hanging out out here. All right, you know, we're gonna get a screenshot of that. Because that is unique and weird. I didn't, I didn't even see that my first time I broke out of here, so that's something new. Now, we're gonna get on top of the ship, and that's gonna be one of the last things we do. But we're gonna go take a look around this water and see what we can find. So let's mount up on our water mount. We're going to take a look around the water here for a minute, and then we're going to head outside the map, because there is things out there you can see. Now, what's very interesting is you're never supposed to see this far out in the water, so the detail that Blizzard put out here with things like the fish skull and the bones and all that, which is kind of neat. Now, the boat is fully rendered and modeled, so you can get on top of the boat. You can walk in it and on it, which we'll be doing here in a little bit. And as you can see, the map's not very big. Um, but you may be surprised that the whole there is a whole rendered map outside this map. So outside the walls, there is actually things that you can go explore. And we're going to go take a look at that here in a minute. But let's go actually head out this way. We're going to mount up because we want to walk across the water. And what's really cool here is you can see the waterfall is all kind of smoke and mirrors. So I'm going to take you guys up here. I'm going to give you guys a better look at everything of what's kind of going on. So you can kind of get a waterfall from a different perspective here. Which is really strange to look at. You're forgetting we have fell rush. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, as you can tell, the waterfall is does cut off completely. It is just blank back here. So, they do do a really good job of smoke and mirrors. And uh, there is nothing back here to see. So, it does cut off. And you can tell, actually, from being over here, the waterfalls just aren't... There's nothing holding them or anything. They're just there. You're going to get in this illusion of, like, having a waterfall right here. It's just coming out of nothing. Which is kind of fun. So. Alright, so we've seen the inside quite a bit. Let's go take a look outside. And I want to show you guys the fully rendered part of the side of this map that's outside now. Now you can come up here. Be careful because you will drop down. But if you make your way out this way, you can get outside of this map. And it's actually right over here. So here we are. We're already outside of the map now. Check that out. Look at that. We are officially outside of Crucible Storms. So like I said, the map is fully rendered from the outside, which is really interesting that they put this much detail. There goes the door if you guys ever wonder what was outside the doors. So let's go take a look this way. I'm gonna show you guys outside this map and show you, give you a little tour around the area. 
Let me zoom out here so you can get a fully good shot of what's out here. Now, I had a lot of fun making that Exiles Reach video. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been commenting and liking. That video's been doing really well, and I'm, I'm very happy it did, because that was a lot of fun. Exiles Reach is just huge. If you guys haven't been able to explore Exiles Reach, I highly recommend you do. Um, it's really easy to do. You could just manipulate the uh, fatigue out there with any healer, uh, and it's easy to explore, so. Now, as you can tell, all the water is swimmable out here. And I'm going to show you guys the outside and get you guys a better look of uh, what's kind of out here. Now, like I said before, there isn't too much. <laughs> it's mostly just all water. I'm pretty barren out here. Uh, there's not too much to look at. One of my favorite things is coming up here, though, and seeing the map from a different perspective. And you're going to see why here in a minute once we make our way. Now, they do keep some of the trails out here, which is really uh, interesting. Because remember, we are in BFA, so we are technically in Stormsong Valley. So they do keep some of the uh, Stormsong Valley out here. There's little islands and stuff that you can get to, which is like right here and right here and right here. There's nothing on those islands, I'll be honest with you. Now what's really cool is because we're outside, you can use an inky black potion like this, and it does change the whole world around you. So I thought that was kind of a trip. And we are going to make our way up here. Um, we're going to wait for our second fell rush charge, which is right, right about now. And uh, we're going to keep making our way up this way. Now, I did get a little bit of feedback on the mount situation <laughs> somebody was like dude your mount's distracting and i'm like you know what you're right <laughs> so i do want to start using a different mount um and i'm trying to just think of something that's kind of not too crazy so i think i'm going to stick with the winter saber here and uh kind of have fun that way but i don't want to distract you guys too much from what's going on around me As you can see, we have made it to the edge of the world, so you can kind of get a little bit of a view under the map here. There is a lot of landmass that goes out that way. And what's interesting, too, is you'll actually hit fatigue going out there, which is very strange. So be careful swimming out that way. You will hit fatigue, and you eventually, as you know, if you stay in fatigue enough, you can die. So we're going to make our way up the mountains, like Uncle Rico would say, and we're going to head out this way. I want to show you guys a better perspective of all the map here on top of it. This is a really cool view up here. As you can tell, we are officially on top of the Crucible Storm now. As you can tell, there's nothing out here. It's just all water. And that's where the map cuts off over here. So that will cut you off with like a barrier. So be careful going out there. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go head down this way. All right. I'm gonna give you guys another view over here. That is pretty much the outside. There isn't too much on the backside, but I will go show you guys what's over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way out this way. And we're gonna fly across here. And we wanna get up this way. I wanna show you guys kind of the, uh, the outside look area of the map. Uh, it looks really cool looking inside from above. So let's go check that out. There we go. We got our second fell rush charge back. And we're going to mount back up. Now, it's really awesome that you can mount. I didn't think Blizzard would allow you to mount up in this raid because 
technically you're inside a cave the whole time, so why they let you mount up in here? I kind of beats me. I don't know. Which I'm cool that they let me, because it really does help out a lot. So I'm gonna give you guys a cool shot and view up here of what it looks like looking down to this raid. So as you can tell, there goes the boss room right there. And everything does kind of unlight up, you know, which is really strange. Because when you're inside the cave, you get this, you know, look of darkness and stuff because you're inside a cavern, right? But when you're outside, everything kind of lights up and I don't know, it's just a cool perspective. Remember, there's the entrance to the raid right over here. And uh, there is like a giant hole in the ground over there, which I have yet to explore. So let's go take a look at that over there if we can make our way over there. So let's go mount up and let's go head out this way. And then what we'll do is we'll fly onto the boat. So let's go out here. And I'll give you guys a better view of the other side of the map here. There is the edge of the world still. And let's go make our way out this way. And let's go take a look. And we do gotta be careful because you can fly back into the map over here. I've done it once, <laughs> it really sucked. And I had to fly back out and then gotta make my way all the way back up again. So that was kind of terrible, but just gotta be careful where we're going here. It's so neat doing OOB, you know. I'm really glad, I mean, I've never gotten in trouble for OB yet, you know, mark my words. <laughs> um, but I'm really glad that Blizzard isn't like, you know, cracking down on people who's doing OB stuff that I know of. Um, I just think OB is a lot of fun because it lets you see things from a new perspective that you're normally never supposed to see. And I don't know, I just think it really helps. There we go, we're going back into the map, so we gotta be careful here of where we're heading. Um, I, I don't know how we're gonna, maybe we might have to, uh, unfortunately. See, there goes the entrance, right? We're, so we're right on top of the entrance right now. We're trying to get into that giant hole over there. But the thing is, I don't know if we can. We could try. Maybe to go out this way. Oh snap, we did clip back in, okay. So, can we get up here though? Well, we can't fly out back this way, but unfortunately this is not where we wanted to go. Well, and that's okay. Oh, there we go. All right, so we are coming back out. Oh, we flew back in, dang it. Oh, can we go back out? Oh, okay, we're swimming. Oh, we're good, we're good. Alright. Oh, that's kind of neat, actually. I've never seen back here yet. <laughs> I'm just going along with the flow with you guys. I've never been back here, so I don't know. This is kind of a neat little view, though. We are technically in water, so... Now, I don't think there's actually anything back here. Okay. I just wanted to see... Ah, uh, we keep falling. We're like swimming, and then we're falling, and then we're swimming, and then we're falling. Well, that sucks. We fell. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go get on top of the ship, and then, um... Maybe we'll end the video there, but as you guys can tell, like I said, there's not much out here, so... I wanted to see if we could get to that giant hole in the ground over there to see what the heck's in there, but we obviously failed that. I wonder if we have to go around this way instead. Because, uh, but I think you just fly through the map, unfortunately. Now, what's really neat here is that you will be in fatigue. So, and there we go. Yeah, we have fatigue, so. But we don't want to drop down there because I think if you drop down there... Oh, gets well. You can technically climb back up. Let's just make our way out this way, and let's go back in this way.
And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to make our way back up the mountain so that we can... Jump onto that ship that I was telling you guys about earlier that we saw in the middle of the map. So let's get back up the mountain here. We should be able to get back up right here. I don't think it should be too difficult. There we go. All right. There we go. All right, we're doing good. We're good. It's all good. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way onto the ship over there. So let's head out this way. And there we go. We clip back into bounds again. But that's okay because we're heading out to the ship anyway. So let's go out there and check it out. Let's go see what's on top of this thing. And now I've actually never been on the ship yet, so this is kind of cool. All right. Well, let's go have a look around. Now, it looks like you can fully walk down here. There is no furniture. There is no chairs. There is no nothing. It's pretty empty for the most part. It does have a sound though. You can tell the ship is alive. <laughs> As you guys can hear the creaking noise. So I'll shut up for a second and let you get that ship life vibe for a minute. So this is pretty neat. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, there goes the fish. All right, so they just swim right through. You can't go back here. Oh, random boots. Look at that. Huh. And what is this? Oh, it's like one of those elephant uh, stalls or whatever. Just randomly laying out here. Okay. And you got some lights. Let's go back upstairs. Uh, how do we get back up? Oh, there we go. There's the stairs here. Let's go make our way up to the deck here. I want to check out this seagull here in the distance. He's just chilling up here. Look at this dude. That is very poorly like modeled, isn't it? <laughs> He's just hanging out. Just doing his thing. Can you walk through him? I guess so. Is he targetable? Oh, he is. Cove Seagull. Alright, Cove Seagull. Well, I guess we made a new friend, guys. <laughs> well, anyways, guys. I'm gonna end the video right here. I want to thank you so much for everybody for all your support, your kindness. We are almost to 5,000 subscribers. That is unbelievable i never thought in my life i'd ever be hitting 5,000 subscribers on a youtube channel like that's insane and uh, i just want to say thank you guys you're the best um i hope you guys have been enjoying these oob videos i'm gonna keep bringing them out every week and we're just gonna keep growing as a channel and all things nerd i'm excited for the war within i'm hoping i can bring you more war within content and talk about that if you guys haven't joined the discord please do i will put the link always in the description of the video and uh, anyways, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. Take care.